Here we go. Well, looks like we're one short on the cupcakes. That's the chance you take when you drop in unannounced. <laughs> hey! Alf, we're one short because you had yours already. Oh. And I dropped in unannounced because I have some incredibly exciting news I want to share with those I love most and those I can barely tolerate. Willie, I think she means us. <laughs> Whizzer has asked me to marry him. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Dora. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Oh, oh, you're excited. I am really excited. You're probably too excited to eat. No, you just gotta have the wedding here. Oh, Kate, I was hoping you would say that. Here? In my house? Yes, here, in our house. Now, Willie and I were married in my mother's house, and she is going to be married here. It's a tradition. Traditions are like plates. They're made to be broken. We are having the wedding here. When's it going to be? We thought sometime next month. What day? I might not be available. You won't. You'll be in the garage that day. I think you know why. I know, I know. Tradition. Yes, I'd like the number for Sir Tux Formal Wear. You know, I think it's nice that Grandma's getting married here instead of in some big old hall. Mm. Maybe you'd like to have your wedding here. <laughs> Mom, don't even joke about something like that. Uh, yes, this is Willie Tanner. I'd like to reserve a tux for Saturday, please. Oh, I think you've got my measurements on file. I was in there in 1967. <laughs> oh. Right, well, add two inches to the waist and lose the bell bottoms. Hey, good water, Kate. Pick up some more of these tomorrow, will you? Ow. That water was supposed to be for the wedding guests. Well, I only drank three of these. I was trying to get rid of my hiccups. What hiccups? <gasps> Those hiccups. That is the strangest hiccup I've ever heard. Well, here's another one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> yes. You're the first humans who have ever heard the dreaded Melmachian hiccups. <laughs> what is it that makes them so dreaded besides that irritating metallic echo? That irritating metallic echo gets louder and louder, day by day, week by week, year by <gasps> year. How many years are we talking about? I'm not sure. <gasps> My Uncle Tinkle had them for 50 years. Tinkle? Good idea. <laughs> What's he doing? He's still sitting in the closet, breathing into a paper bag. Well, it must be working. He hasn't hiccuped in... <laughs> 52 seconds. OK, OK, we've tried sugar, we've tried honey, we've tried lemon juice. We've tried half a turkey. You gave him our turkey? He said it was a bold experiment. Well, I hardly got any sleep last night. I slept like a baby, a baby trapped 
inside a percolator. I guess you don't want any coffee, then. I'll take mine black. You're too young. I feel old. <laughs> well, that sure didn't work. <laughs> Elf, I am sorry that you're going through this, but I do hope that your hiccups will be gone before the wedding tomorrow. <laughs> Elf, why don't you try holding your breath again? That should work. Okay. It's Trevor. Hey, take your hiccups. Get out of here. Fine. If he complains about the turkey bones in his yard, play dumb. <laughs> oh, hi, Alf. How's it going? <gasps> about the same, huh? What are you looking for? My Melmacian medical encyclopedia. I might have a cure for the hiccups. Here, hold this, Willie. What is it? <laughs> oh, that's just nuclear waste from my spaceship. <laughs> oh, hey, don't worry. Life on this planet will exist as long as that little lid doesn't pop off. <gasps> oh, wait. These are my crayons. Alf, what, what does this encyclopedia look like? Well, I don't remember. I only used it once. Is, could this be it? Oh, yeah, that's it. The Furry Home Companion. <laughs> Isn't that a little bit thin for an encyclopedia? Our bodies aren't that complicated. <laughs> we have ten major organs, eight of which are stomachs. I would have guessed all ten. <laughs> stomach aches, stomach flu, stomach transplants. Here we are, hiccups. Hey, hey, all I have to do is drink a glass of cat juice. No problem. Cat juice? What is cat juice? Well, it's just like orange juice. But instead of squeezing the juice out of an orange, you squeeze the juice out of a... Uh, I don't want to hear it. Then cover your ears. Cat. I heard it. You were warned. <laughs> Look, there's got to be another cure. There is. But you don't want to hear it. It's disgusting. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Hi, Juicy. Ah, uh, Lucky. Anything you do to this cat, I will do to you. Oh, Lucky. Mwah! Okay. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, sure, you'll kiss him, but not me. Don't ask. Did you find a place to have the wedding? Oh, no. All the churches are booked. All, all except the Malibu nudist chapel. My mother is not getting married in a nudist colony. Well, if she does, I'm not going. I have this tattoo I'd rather not explain. <laughs> Alf, we told you, wherever they get married, you're not going. But who's going to sing Sunrise, Sunset? <laughs> Wizard. Wizard. What kind of name is that? Well, what kind of name is Uncle Tinkle? You win. <laughs> if those hiccups get any louder, there may not be a wedding. <laughs> Or a house. <laughs>
Or maybe they won't care. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Wizard. Come on in. Don't mind if we do. Oh. That is, if you don't mind if we do. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Wizard. Nervous about tomorrow? How could I be nervous? I'm too excited about my bachelor party. Oh. Well, you know, Angel, I gotta run. Mm. Mm. If you come in late for a stag film, you can't follow the plot. <laughs> After the movie, I suppose you're gonna have a girl jump out of a cake. No, we're not gonna waste money on a cake. We're just getting a stripper. Uh, very frugal. I know I think it's Trixie something. You wanna come, Willie? Oh, uh, not if there's not gonna be cake. Smart move. <laughs> just show up tomorrow. You too. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Uh, <gasps> what is that? Oh, Mom, it's Alf. He has the hiccups. Oh, that's too bad. We have tried every hiccup cure known to man and half a turkey. Nothing has worked. <laughs> Poor little guy. He may do that tomorrow at the ceremony, Dorothy. Shoot him. <laughs> Mom? Well, if he pulls that during sunrise, sunset... Well, just, no, just, 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 just take it easy, Mom. We're still... We're looking for a cure. Other than cat juice. Cat juice? That's the cure for hiccups on Melmac. No, we are not mashing a cat just to cure Elf's hiccups. How about just for a cheap thrill? <laughs> Thanks a lot, you hiccuping hairball from hell. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, you're a wiener. <laughs> Elf, would you excuse us, please? We want to talk about you for a moment. Well, I'm flattered. But don't let the wiener badmouth me. Wiener. <laughs> well, desperate times call for desperate measures. We make some cat juice. We are not juicing a cat. Not in my blender, anyway. Well, what if we use that blender your sister sent us? Honey. I, I'm sorry, Kate. I was just trying to help. Well, I don't mean a real cat. We just mix up a batch of goop and we tell Alf it's cat juice. That's a great idea. Kate, what do you say? Well, all right. But we are using the blender my sister sent us. <laughs> well, listen to that reverb. Alf, we have a surprise for y'all. Dorothy exploded? No. Alf. We decided that your health is more important than uh, a cat. So this is uh, freshly squeezed cat juice. Really? Yeah. Enjoy. Well, where's the little umbrella? Just drink it. OK. Alas, poor Lucky. I liked him as a cat. I love him as a cocktail. <laughs> It's not lucky. It's, uh, it's a stray. Well, it's not a roadkill, is it? No. Good, because I have my standards. Is it kosher? Just drink it. All right. Well, at least it wasn't a hiccup. <laughs> are you, are you cured? I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. I've got to get to the bathroom. As they say, you don't buy cat juice, you rent it. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to ask, how, how was your bachelor party? Oh, the usual. By the way, could you do me a favor? Would you be my best man? Well, what happened to Garland? Oh, he's gone to a better place. What? Yeah, he went home with a stripper. <laughs> oh.
Burgess. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to unite these two in holy matrimony. <laughs> <clears throat> Who gives this woman to this man? I do. Dorothy Halligan. Do you take this man, Wizard Deaver, to be your... Your first husband did pass away, right? I'll just see what that is and eliminate it. Uh-oh. Oh, I'll be right back. Hi, Willie. Kate Passer. What do you think you're doing? Speaking Spanish. You know what I mean. What were you doing in there? I'm sorry. I really wanted to go to the wedding. The minister said that he'd wait until we get back. Well, then let's go. Alf, we've told you hundreds of times. If somebody sees you, they could turn you in. Is that what you want? No, I want cake. <laughs> and I want to be a part of the family. You are a part of the family, Alf. Look, the only reason Mom and Dad put you in the garage is because they don't want anyone to find out about you. They care about you. I mean, why else would they have made that fake cat juice? Fake cat juice? I'm sorry. Fake cat juice? Well, thought you could fool me, huh? We did fool you. <gasps> what was that? That's your cue, wizard. Start singing. <laughs> We'll be right back. Where is he? Right here at the epicenter. A white dress? Who do you think you're kidding? Well, we've got to do something. They can hear Alf in the house, and they don't like it. Listen, Alf, yesterday you said there was a second cure for Melmachian hiccups. Now, what is it? I'm telling you, it's really disgusting. Tell us what it is. Fine. The other cure is eating raw spinach. <laughs> raw spinach? Don't even say it. I'm going to... Libby, quick, get some spinach. Make sure it's good and raw. Right. But spinach is so gross! <laughs> uh, on Melmac, Popeye's considered a geek. Okay, Alf. Forget the spinach, we'll go to plan B. What's plan B? It involves gunfire. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right. I'll eat the darn spinach. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's good for you, right? Uh, it's got iron and calcium and grains of sand. Why are you inching towards the door? I'm not inching towards the door. I beg to differ with you. You are inching towards the door. Nay, sir, you are an error. Here's the spinach. <laughs> See, uh, now I'm inching away from the door. I'm sort of shuffling, just gliding. What's going on in there? It's chaos. The best man just showed up with a woman wearing leopard pants. <laughs> Eat your spinach. <laughs> Well, at least there's a bug on it. All right, uh, Trixie, was it? Yes, yeah, good. Darling, have a nice time in Tijuana. 
<laughs> oh, guys, have a good time on your honeymoon. I always do. <laughs> Isn't he terrible? Listen, if you ever find the wedding cake, save us a piece. Wasn't that the, the, the strangest thing, the whole cake just disappearing like that? Pardon me. Now, Mommy, if you have any questions on your honeymoon or if you just want to talk, you be sure to call me, okay? <laughs> so long, Dottie Kins. Hey, hey, don't! You're supposed to take the rice out of the box before you throw it. Well, next you're going to tell me I'm not supposed to tie a cat to the back of the car. Then go cut Lucky loose. Right away. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!